Dream chasing boxing. Here, shout out to the LDBC. What's going on, everyone? All right, so Kel Brooks says something that I found was very interesting. A lot of people have been saying this. A lot of us are wondering this, and that's he pretty much brought up how how is Errol Spence going to respond once he gets hit with Kel Brooks' right hand? I think that's a good question. A lot of us want to know. It's a big question mark by Errol Spence. People still bring him up, um, bring up that the fact that he got hurt. Uh, I don't know, like a couple years ago, by one dude. And at the end of the round, he got caught with something. And people still bring that up to say that he doesn't have a chin. It's kind of ironic since Kel Brook has been stopped and he's been hurt early in his career as well. But I digress, I digress. That, that's irrelevant. But point is, people still um, bring that up. And to get back to what Kel Brook is saying, we do want to know because we haven't seen Errol Spence in a situation where he has faced a power puncher like Kel Brook. It just hasn't happened. You know, um, Kel Brook has faced a guy like Errol Spence and Triple G who was much bigger, got stopped. But he's faced a guy like Triple G and we saw how he was able to react. He was able to react in a manner that got him stopped. But as far as um, what Errol Spence be able to do the same thing, it depends, man. It depends how you look at it. He's not as big as Gennady Golovkin. We could argue that he doesn't hit as hard as Gennady Golovkin. I don't think he does. Um, but at the same time, though, is Kelber going to be as healthy at um, at 147 the same way he was at 160? Is he going to be able to be able to absorb that punishment due to the weight factor? We don't know. That weight could be hurting him, man. Going to make his chin weaker. You know what I'm saying? Going to be dehydrated. IBF got that. Remember that um, second day weigh-in, and Kel Brook has made it clear. This isn't me. This is conjecture. He's made it clear that he struggles to make, that, um, make it 147, and he wanted to go to 154. But anyway, man, to get back to the matter, when Kel Brook makes this point, I think it's a good point all in all because we don't know how Kel, um, Errol Spence is going to react. That's the thing we don't know. We can assume, but we don't know. The reason that I'm personally not too worried about how Errol Spence is going to react to getting hit is because Again, I don't think his defense is like what people try to make it seem as if he has no defense. So I'm not expecting him to go in there and just get hit willy-nilly. If he does, he's going to get stopped. That's a fact. But he has a lot better defense than people give him credit for. It ain't no Mayweather defense, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but not just that. It's Errol Spence's confidence. He's not worried about it. So I'm not either. Errol Spence is like one of the only dudes that I've seen call out the biggest power punchers on a consistent basis and not be worried about it. I mean, I know there's other guys that um that have done it, but as far as 147, he's really been the only guy who like chased after a Kel Brook and a Keith Thurman, the two most devastating punchers in the division, easily. And not even like he he's asking for these guys. You get what I mean? So if his chin was really weak and that suspect, I don't think he would ask for a Thurman. I don't think he would ask for a Brook if if it unless he's extremely delusional and is really really overconfident. I think his chin is going to hold up. And he even brought up that he knows that Kelbrook is going to hit him. He knows Kelbrook hits hard, and he's not worried about it. So I'm going to lean towards that, yeah, anybody can be hurt by any punch. Of course, he's like, he, like you know, there's no such thing as an iron chin. But at the same time, I don't think he has a weak chin because just because he got hurt like three, four years ago doesn't mean anything to me. A lot of fighters get hurt early on. We just tend to be selective about who the fuck we care about that does get hurt. But, um, yeah, so as far as that goes, I think it's going to be a great fight. We're going to find out whether or not um, Errol Spence has a chin. And that's, real quick, this is why I don't get when dudes try to make it seem as if Keith Thurman or Kelbrook don't have to fight Spence. How the fuck will we know if he's good or not if he don't fight these dudes? People keep making all these different excuses as to, well, Keith Thurman fought Sean Port and Danny Garcia. What does he need to fight Spence for? So we can stop doing this thing that apparently pisses you off too when people keep rating Spence so highly. He has to fight these dudes that you think are so fucking great that Spence can't beat or Spence doesn't even deserve a shot with them to find out whether or not he's good. That's how it works. People just want to, I'm tired of just thinking Spence is a good, I want to see it. That's why the Kell Brook fight is great because I don't think it's an easy fight for Spence. Kell Brook does expose a lot of, um, pose a lot of danger for um, Errol Spence, so it needs to happen. But now like people keep really getting to this whole fear of, well, what if you're wrong? What if I'm wrong and Errol Spence gets knocked out by Kell Brook? If Errol Spence gets knocked out by Kell Brook, Errol Spence got knocked out by Kell Brook. That's it. Me and Errol Spence were not one. If he loses, I don't lose too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it ain't like I'm going to wake up, like, you know, like with bruises on my face and shit. Like, it's if he loses, he loses. I'm still going to support him. I still think he's going to be one of the best in the division. But if he loses, it's a loss. Now, it depends on how he, if he goes in there and gets blown out in one round, then we were all really wrong about Errol Spence. But even the people who don't like him, we don't think that's going to happen. So at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a great fight. I think Kel Brook is going to let us know exactly how good Errol Spence is. And he's going to be a great step up for him as Errol Spence continues his great career. That's how I see it happening in DCB. I'm out.